Hey everyone, I'm back playing more Diablo 3. Oh man, it's been a while. I'm just gonna start skipping the dialogue because I learned that the way I have the audio settings adjusted, you can't really hear it anyway. But uh, we're gonna go and uh, solve some problems. Speaking of some problems, I recently came across a YouTube channel that is taking videos from another YouTuber and uploading them as their own. They're editing it just enough so that you can't quite tell the video belongs to a different channel. But uh, I kind of recognize the content and then it's like a channel, it's taking content away from like a compilation type channel and I saw a video where they straight up left in one of the countdown numbers from the original content owner and while I don't think that was exactly hurting the guy who had originally made the videos it bums me out to see people are doing this just taking other people's videos and re-uploading them as their own and it's kind of it's not exactly uncommon but after having made videos of my own, whether it just be one of these Let's Play videos or, you know, videos I put work into, and after talking to other YouTubers and getting to know, like, everyone that I happen to have had a chance to talk to, friends and just online acquaintances alike, and knowing that there are people that put in a lot of work into their content, it really bothers me when I see someone just take that and upload the content as their own. Like, you you wouldn't like it if you went out of your way to make something and someone just took it and said, no, I made this, this is mine. It's, I don't know, it's just not right. And as I've been growing up, I started thinking to myself, you know, like, I, I need to start making money, I need to start looking out for myself. I, there's lines that you don't cross, and to me, stealing, so, like, someone else's video is pretty bad. That, it's not quite the same as pirating. Pirating is kind of a different thing altogether. It's just, because, I don't know, like, I'm, I'm tripping over my own words here. So, when you pirate a movie, like, if some director made... Like, like, let's say The Avengers. That's a movie everyone knows. Let's say you pirated a copy of The Avengers. Um, they... The people who made that movie won't necessarily see that money. And that, that sucks. However, it doesn't change the fact that their names are all over it. Typically, when you get a pirated DVD of a movie... It's just, hey look, we, we were able to sneak a camera in and we filmed this we filmed this uh, feature length movie. But you still know who directed it, you still know who made the video, and you have the choice to buy like the real DVD or go see the sequels in theaters and things like that. Now with stealing a YouTube video, it kind of changes because unless something gets filed or YouTube figures out what you're doing and the person who stole the content monetized it the person who originally owned it loses out on potential viewers because the person who just took the video is uploading all your stuff and people will just subscribe to them instead of your own channel you're losing viewers you're losing and thus ad revenue you're losing, um, like, audience. An audience base, even. I'm not supposed to be here yet. We come here later. And it, it's just as damaging, if not more so, to a small independent content creator as it would be to, like, a big-time movie executive when this kind of thing happens. And I'm not just saying this because I majored in film and... You know, that's an industry that I spent a lot of time learning about and, you know, respecting. It's 
just common courtesy. Like, you wouldn't want stuff stolen from you. Why would you do that to someone else? I don't know. It's... I, and I won't say who these people are just out of respect. Like, I sent the guy who originally owned the video a message and I let him know. And I said, if you want to take action, I'll let it be your decision. But here's a heads up. And it's... I mean, it's out of my hands now. Like, I sent... I, I tried to let the dude know. So, I, I've done what I can do. Because on YouTube, when you try to file, um, like, a dispute or, like, report a video, typically what I usually see is, how does this, like, oh, do, do you own this content? You can't say this content belongs to someone else. At least, uh, not that I know of. So, I did the next best thing I can think of, and I just let the original content owner know. If anyone knows of a better way to handle that, please let me know. I would really like to know about that. If you watch uh, my personal channel at all, you know that I I haven't done it in a while. I've gotten rather lazy. But I, I've made a few shoutout videos for other smaller YouTubers just like me. And I, I would feel devastated if I knew that this was happening to someone that um, I was trying to help out. And I wasn't even doing that. I was just watching a video and something came up on my related or like my recommended kind of watch list. And I instantly recognized the content, which is kind of strange considering it was like a compilation countdown video. But like I said, the guy, the guy was editing out parts and he messed up and left one part from the original creator in. And that's how I recognized it. But, and then, uh, if you're thinking about doing this, like, if you're desperate for views, please don't. There are far better ways to get views than stealing other people's content. Don't steal other, don't steal the work of others, is what I'm trying to say. It's, it's like plagiarism, except, I don't know, less blatant, less blunt. Because it was edited, but that doesn't make it okay. It's not fair use if you're taking someone else's stuff and literally just saying, no, I made this. I'm just kind of rambling. I That's why I like these Diab this Diablo playthrough. Um, I, I'm just using it basically to clear my head before I go to sleep or before I go to work and stuff and... It's, it's helped me out a lot. Like, I feel calmer most of the time now. I donated platelets just yesterday, and man, that kicked my butt. Turns out I have a really high uh, natural platelet count. And so I donate, I don't get money when I donate. I donate to uh, an organization that sends it to a children's hospital that's out this way. It's legal for them to tell me that it's going somewhere and being used for, like, you know, donation and transfusion purposes, but it's illegal if they tell me who it is. So, usually they just tell me, hey, you're really helping someone out today. And that's pretty much all I, all I hear. And I get free Netflix and snacks out of it, so, I mean, that's, that's a pretty good deal if you ask me. I spent my last donation visit watching Ghost Adventures, and uh, I'm used to the host of that show kind of being a jerk, but my roommate told me that in recent episodes he's mellowed out quite a bit, so I was trying to hunt down the newer episodes, couldn't find them, so I settled for finding the episode where they were in Utah at the uh, haunted hospital and that was actually a really good episode because um, Tooele while it's in Utah it's a decent drive away from me and I've always wanted to go visit that place so it's kind of neat to see them go through that and see how they chose to film it and everything I have a ghost documentary on my personal channel maybe I'll link that in the annotations actually 
I made it for school. Like, it was for my documentary class. It was back when I was in college. Did that not hit him? That fence post was blocking my attacks. That's ridiculous. Can we please just get this guy out of here? These guys do a lot of damage if you're not careful. Where on earth is this freaking... I'm getting impatient. I just want to find this place. Uh, is that it? There it is. Oh, these usually... Yep, there it is. I think it hit my Templar. Anyway, the... The funny thing about donating platelets, though, is I've heard mixed things about doing those types of donations. Like, the places that give you money, sometimes they don't give you money. They give you, like, prepaid uh, gift cards or whatever. And that's kind of okay, but you can't, like, put that into your bank account or anything like that. And I'd rather, you know, have that. Ooh, boy. Just to kind of, for utilities, the sake of utility. But I'm not the kind of person that gets to make that choice. So I just, that's why, that's why I kind of like, I don't know. I've read different things. Like if you donate and you're, it, the donation is going to, say, another person for medical reasons. I've heard they're not allowed to give you money for it. So, I don't know if that's true or if that's true in just different states or anything like that. But it's been the case. How does that increase my damage? Oh, that's a lot of dexterity. Mm, not worth it. It's been the case, though, where I have heard from other people who have donated while I was considering donating and where to donate that it's more or less just like the one one kid said he got paid in cash and then another guy I was talking to said he got paid in a gift card and it was from the same place so I what the heck what did I just that was weird why did I do it that way I don't know it's it's one of those things where I'm so iffy on it, I would rather just it go to someone who could use the donation. Mm. Uh, that seems good, right? Like, that's a good expenditure of points. I'm not crazy. Oh, good. We have a waypoint this time. Don't know why it wouldn't give us a waypoint before. For crying out loud. Oh, man. I think we meet the scoundrel now. Ooh, there's a bag. How did I miss that the first time? That was worth quite a bit of experience, apparently. Okay. Alright, so... He's saying, help, they're gonna kill my friend. Farmer's daughter. He's tricking her. Let me in! Let me just put those in. Talk to this guy. Kick their butt. Oh man, this is going way smoother than I remember. There we go. There they are. There's a tough one. He's up there. Where is he going? Really, dude? Is he fighting my boar? He is. That's embarrassing. Is it going to drop anything cool? I don't know what this guy has a possibility of dropping. Um, nothing good. So whatever. Anyway. How long have we been going? It's been uh, 15 minutes already? Alright, well, let's get to the next waypoint, which is just up this hill, and I'll call that a part. Thanks for listening to me rant. If you guys... If, if anything I talk about in this episode, like, if you guys have anything to, to chip in or to say, or, like, your two bits, 
don't don't be afraid to leave a comment anyways that's all for right now and i'll see you guys next time mm -hmm.